At this point in the life of the people of God, as they're under Joshua's leadership, they're conquering the land that God had promised them. In fact, they're being so effective that we see in Joshua 9 that the kings of the area unite against Joshua and the people. And rather than try to defeat them like the people of Jericho and Ai, the Gibeonites decided to deceive them rather than try to defeat them. God had commanded Israel not to make covenants with the nations in Canaan, but the Gibeonites knew that if they did get a covenant, Israel would keep it. So they lied and said that they came from a far country, that they weren't from the area that the Israelites were conquering. And in verse 14, we read something very sad, that Joshua and his leaders failed to seek God, and instead, they made judgments just by the appearances. And later in this book, we'll see that Joshua was forced to defend these enemies because of this covenant. See, Moses had warned Israel that their friendship with these nations would only lead Israel into sin. And that's ultimately what happened. You know, in our lives, our spiritual enemy, the devil, constantly seeks to bring defeat and deception into our lives. So we must be on guard. And unlike Joshua, we need to seek the Lord and not make judgments simply based on appearances. This is a familiar verse, but its importance and its impact upon our lives is profound. In Proverbs chapter three, the Bible tells us, trust in the Lord with all your heart Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. So today, seek the Lord in all the decisions you have to make.